Hi guys, welcome to my video and my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do something completely different. We're going to talk about Midjourney and how insanely awesome this program is and why you should use it for your game. All right, so sit back, grab a cup of coffee and some popcorn and let's begin. Okay guys, so first of all, I have to give you all a warning. Right, because we're going to talk about spiders and spider creatures. And they're going to, I'm going to show you some nasty looking stuff, I promise you. So if you, if you have something with spiders, please turn off this video right now. And trust me, <laughs> you don't want to see what I'm going to show you in this video. So, all right, you have been warned. So let's get started. All right, guys, I am completely blown away by Mid Journey. I have no idea how this works or uh, how it's even possible to uh, create this stuff that Mid Journey is creating just by typing in some words. It's absolutely insane. I think that since Christmas, I have been completely obsessed with this program and, and been, been like Gollum in his cave and just being turning slowly into madness you know it's 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 i cannot describe <laughs> i mean <laughs> i don't know what to say this program is just insane i have no idea what's going on and it, it completely blows my mind that that we are able to do this today it's 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 like uh, i mean i tried the program maybe a year ago or something like that when it first was announced and and it could do some pretty cool stuff. I could type in some words like spiders and stuff, and it would create these uh, weird looking creatures, which was all super awesome, but it, it wasn't really useful for anything. It wasn't that good. But <laughs> when I look at it now, I mean, two weeks ago when, when I started using it again, it, it, was, it was absolutely mind blowing. If you don't know what Mid Journey is, or uh, AI generated images, or whatever we call it today, then look it up. There's a tons of videos on YouTube sh uh, showing you what it is and how to use it. Uh, but that's not what this video is for. You basically just type in some keywords in this program and it will create an image for you, uh, which is, uh, you know, all depending on the keywords you have written down, right? And of course, naturally, I started to type in stuff which was relevant for the game I'm creating, right? Like, uh, give me some enemies, uh, make a dungeon for me, make some armor set, stuff like this. Show me some different stuff that, that can give me inspiration, right? And that is all extremely useful when you are a developer like me, who a, a guy who is who can't draw anything, right? You have all seen my concept drawings of my <laughs> magic abilities for the game. And it, seriously, it's just stick figures. And, and, and some simple uh, lines, right? It, that is, I mean, a five-year-old boy can draw better than I can, all right? So there's absolutely no way that I'm able to uh, draw anything concept-like at all that I can build anything from. I cannot uh, draw a cool armor set. I cannot draw any cool enemies. I, I can't do any of these things. And, and even if I could, I... I don't think I could come up with these uh, new creative original ideas that we haven't seen a thousand times in, in many other games. I, I mean, the game I'm creating is, is not nothing original at all. Uh, it's, it's something we have seen a thousand times. I'm just trying to do it really, really good. Anyways, what Mid Journey is doing is saving me a ton of hours where I am sitting in Pinterest or Google and searching for monsters or or armors or uh, dungeon props and things like that. I mean, I can get all these things, but I mean, if I search for a, a, a spider with tentacles, for example, <laughs> just a wild example, right? I'm not getting that anywhere on Pinterest or Google or infected zombie spider uh, covered in goo and all these crazy stuff I want to do. I'm, I mean, I'm making a game where a fantasy dungeon is getting infected by, by a disease, so everything has to be kind of uh, infected, right? That, that, that's, I mean, I, I'm getting off topic here. The point is, 
I can't find these things on the internet right now. Not on Google, not on Pinterest, not on ArtStation, not anywhere. And Midjourney is giving it to me in spades. It's absolutely insane. And I will show you <laughs> why this is so insane. So let's have a look. You can basically create anything, any image in this program. You just type down the keywords and it will create the image for you. So I have tried all kinds of things like uh, like a werewolf in a theme park, right? Or, or like an evil Santa Claus hiding behind a Christmas tree, uh, a graveyard or a, a tentacle monster attacking a, a suburb uh, city uh, somewhere. And things like uh, create a cool barbarian armor, right? I've tried that too. I even tried to create uh, the hero character in my game. Uh, a, a barbarian called Gorm, right? It can even do that and it will look <laughs> very close to my hero, right? I want to talk to you about monsters, more specifically spiders. I'm, I, I have a lot of spiders in my game and I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, redesigning all the spiders uh, to make them look a little more, I don't know, intense. And I also need an infected version of the spider. So the infection in this game comes from, uh, you know, a tentacle monster from outer space. So if an enemy in this game is infected, that means it will have some goo and tentacles coming out from their bodies, right? It should look horrifying. So using Mid Journey as an inspiration for these uh, spider creatures is uh, absolutely phenomenal. And now this is the whole point of this video. I want to show you the, these images the Midjourney have created for me, uh, which is absolutely mind blowing, right? So I started by typing in mutant zombie spider creature covered in purple slime. And then I ended with the word hyper realistic, just to, to make it a little more believable, but still a little stylistic. And this is the spider it gives me. Midjourney will give you four examples uh, of images and then you can select uh, which one you want to upscale make it a higher resolution or if you want to make variations of any of these four images you can click on the variation button and it will create uh, four new versions of that image specific image right does that make sense again look it up on youtube there's a lot of cool videos out there but i mean it gave me the spider which looks absolutely insane looks like a spider it, it i mean it have more than eight legs but that's not really the point here it has an awesome body awesome face some nasty uh, mandibles in, in front of some pretty creepy legs right it, it looks nuts and already this is enough for me to get some ideas on how i want to build my own spider right so let's have a look at some of the other spiders it creates like this one <laughs> i don't know it it look at the render goddamn it it has depth of field the lighting is perfect right look at the expression of this monster it looks absolutely nuts then we have this this green slimy thing right and i started to change the keywords i'm using like now this is alien tentacle spider monster covered in alien slime hyper realistic right again so the point is that i, I want to uh, get some images of nasty looking spiders, which is not just uh, normal spiders we see every day, but you know, alien like spiders, like they have been infected with something like a mutated spider, right? I want to see something nasty and creepy. So I'm typing in words like alien and, and monster and slime to get these result and tentacle, because I know the disease in my game is, is tentacle based, right? So I want to have some sort of tentacle stuff in there, right? This image doesn't give me any tentacles, but uh, this is just one image out of four. And I can just press the reload button and it will give me four new images with completely new uh, monsters. So take a look at this spider, for example. Awesome looking render. It looks absolutely fantastic. And it already gives me a lot of cool ideas for how I want to make the body and the head for these creatures. So now I experimented a little more with the with tentacles, tentacles and slimes and alien eggs, 
and baby tentacle spider. You know, you can read the words I've written here, but I wanted to try and create something more with tentacles and maybe some eggs laying around so, so I get a more complete image of the spider in its own environment. And I mean, I mean it, it, it gives it, I mean, these uh, renders are absolutely insane. There's no way I would be able to do this my own, right? And if I was going to hire an artist, this would have taken weeks to, uh, to get the spider, right? with iterations and, and I mean, you just don't make an image like this and Midjourney is giving it to me. Uh, it takes 10 seconds to create four different versions of these spiders. And this spider is awesome. It looks almost like a crab with the head and those legs. It's kind of a combination of spider legs and tentacles all in one, right? It looks, it looks weird. And then it kind of took the alien tentacle thing a little too far. There's no spider in this image, right? But it's still extremely awesome. I mean, look at those tentacles and this huge body on, on the back. I, I, I love it, it looks fantastic. Again, this is a spider tentacle monster with with, with a, a little more uh, weight on the tentacles, right? Which is also super cool. I'm also looking into uh, the design for my own tentacle uh, space creatures, right? And this just gives me a ton of ideas I can use very easily. This spider is absolutely awesome. Look at that face, it's just random blobs. The huge back body which looks like it's translucent with stuff inside, right? And these tentacle spider legs and depth of field and perfect lighting and color. It's apps. I can't believe that this is just happening in 10 seconds. It blows my mind. This program is absolutely insane. And this is definitely a type of spider I would love to use for my game. Not this spider exactly, right? But the idea that it just have a huge translucent body and a nasty looking face. I mean, and <laughs> I don't know, more than eight legs. I don't know how many legs this one has, but, but just something completely out of this world which can kind of light up the dungeon with this green illumines. I mean, th there's so many ideas just by looking at this, uh, this single spider. And this is an absolutely nightmare to look at, right? I mean, imagine one of those things crawling around on your skin, right? Like a little tick creature, it's absolutely disgusting. And now, this, this guy is pretty awesome. Again, it has too many legs, but it doesn't matter. Maybe I want to create spiders that have 10 or 12 legs. Doesn't matter. As long as it's creepy and nasty. I would love to animate something with 10 legs, right? It would take a little longer, but it would be absolutely scary. It's creepy as hell, I promise you. Again, this I will show you four variations of this spider right now. This is another variation of the same spider. Let's go back again the first variation of the spider then there's a button you can click on that and you will get four new variations of the same type of spider right so this is the second version again it, it has this transparent uh, illumination inside its back body it looks absolutely nuts and these eyes I mean <laughs> how can you not tell me this is not a face you can't trust right and again, the, the, the third iteration of the spider. It's the same spider, you can see it, but just different. The last version, I love those eyes. The head, it's just those big round eyes. It's just something creepy about it. <laughs> what about this guy? God, look at that expression. That's something definitely completely wrong with this creature. It's in pain. I mean, I feel bad for this guy. It's, God damn it. This is an evil one. I started to experimenting with putting the word evil and zombie into these uh, keywords, right? And when you put in the word evil, it starts creating these uh, demonic looking faces, which is, I mean, it might not be fit for the game I'm, I'm doing, but it looks scary as hell. And this is another one of those crap like spiders right it's, it's just and look at the depth of field it's like it's a super small creature and the camera is super close to it right it, there's something nasty about super small creatures when you zoom right into them 
then we have this one there's something going on with the back body I, I don't know if i like it or not and the face is a bit weird i mean mid journey is also giving you some really weird stuff and a lot of stuff that that you can really use that you you don't like right i've cut many of those out of this i mean i have created so many spiders in this program it's not even funny and i'm only showing you kind of the highlights right look at this one evil nasty i mean there's just so many good ideas that just comes from uh, i mean a few keywords right you get some awesome looking monsters mutant alien spider with tentacle mouth covered in alien slime i was trying to make a spider where instead of a head it just have a, a ton of tentacles or one big tentacle or something else than a, a, a monster head right and mid journey didn't really give me that I see it, it it didn't really understand then that I wanted tentacles as a mouth or as a head or something like that so I mean this is also super weird looking and then we get more into the squid like monsters so spider monster with tentacle face surrounded by alien eggs and slime because I wanted to kind of create an environment around the creature also I mean and, and this looks more like something out of a Pixar movie uh, maybe a little more horrifying than a Pixar movie, but 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 it 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 gets very cartoony. But again, it doesn't matter. Here's another one. It doesn't matter because when I do it, when if if I were to okay, Jesus Christ, look at this badass. That's just scary. I'm not able to create anything like that with my modeling skills. Let's just establish that to begin with, right? I can't create these monsters, but I can make my own low poly models uh, with inspiration for for parts of these monsters right so i won't get this but I, I can get something close with my low poly style right there's no way i'm able to create a monster like this i just don't have the skills for it but i can do some basic low poly stuff and i can take some of these ideas and make my own low poly monster from it does that make sense so here's another one of those tick-like monsters with the translucent back body. And I kind of the, the problem with these monsters, spiders, is that they kind of don't have a, a mid body, right? A spider is kind of created from a head, a mid body, and then a back body. That's how I see it at least. But it's like the back body is cut from these monsters. Like they're all kind of very uh, choppy and, and short looking. Again, with, with this one, it doesn't have a mid body it only have a face and the big back body which looks absolutely fantastic to be honest this this monster is awesome but again i can create my own spider from this right by adding my own mid body from something else i've seen on mid journey or maybe my own thing i don't know and now we get more into the more tentacle uh, kind of uh, jelly fish uh, gobble thing i don't know a gobble is that a word and then they have these small balls around with, with other small jellyfish in them. It's, it's great, man. There's another one of those demonic creatures. It's just a nasty looking spider. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, there's so many good ideas from this. J Jesus Christ, a badass looking tentacle monster. Imagining you're diving in the ocean, right? And you <laughs> stumble upon this guy. I mean, what the hell? What do you do from there? So I, I just have these so many weird and, and awesome looking alien spider squid monsters. I don't even know what this is. It looks nuts. That's not something I'm looking for in my game, but I mean, these renders, right? How long would it take an artist to make this? It's a weird looking cartoony kind of uh, squid thing. I don't like it. This one is cool. That's kind of a weird looking tentacle monster with a big body. And then it have these minions or small babies flying around. I was trying to experiment with like monsters and, and eggs and, and the monster babies, right? But <laughs> I was afraid I was getting something I really didn't want to see when, when using those words. So I, I kind of ditched the idea. But this is awesome. Look at these small creatures flying around with the same kind of base design as the big mother in the middle. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. 
No idea what this one is, but it looks awesome. There's another one of those. I don't know what it is, but it looks awesome. Look at the shadows and, and the reflections and the light. It, I mean, how is this? How is this even possible? I have no idea. Spider looking slimy thing with tentacle legs. This is just a weird looking football spider. I don't know how this came to be. And guys, sometimes it just creates these weird looking images. That is really not what you asked for, right? Spider monster with tentacle as head, guarding many eggs. So I don't know, it, it created some kind of bird looking spider inside an egg with some, uh, I mean, this image makes no sense. This is kind of, again, an, one of those underwater squid looking monsters. And these are uh, great ideas for the squid looking monsters I'm going to create for my game. Again, I cannot create this kind of fidelity in my game, but I can make low poly versions of some of these parts, right? Like the face here is, is, is pretty scary. Like it has no expression, right? And then the big, big body. It's, I mean, it just blows my mind that I just type in some keywords and I get these images. It's absolutely fantastic for, for, for ideas. And now we're getting into some really creepy stuff, right? Spider creature with tentacles in castle basement dungeon hallway. I was trying to create some kind of environment for these monsters to be in. And it, it kind of puts the monsters in a different light. And look at these legs, it's, it's creepy as fuck to be honest. So this is another evil looking spider. I don't know why these spiders need to have so many legs, but it, it, it's, it's just as creepy. I mean, 12 legs is equally as creepy as, as eight legs. Am I wrong? And I mean, this spider is pretty cool. This is, this is more what I'm looking for, right? Because look at these tentacles hanging down from the face and this uh, bright light as an eye. I mean, that is something I, I, I don't know where. I have I seen that anywhere before? I don't, I don't think so. And combined with the spider body and the spider legs, this could be really interesting to try and make something like this, <laughs> but with eight legs instead of, I don't know, 14, right? And this is one of those, you know, demon looking spiders, which I'm not really interested in evil demon looking monsters. That's, that's not what I want. Have you guys seen that movie, The Mist? There's some demon looking spiders and that with, with a, like a skull as a face. And I mean, I look it up, it's, it's disgusting. And then we have this, I mean, putting these monsters into a dungeon environment just makes it a little more creepy, right? Also, these, these ones looks a little more creepy than the cartoony ones I've shown you earlier. I, I, and again, I don't know why. Guys, I think this is the last spider I have to show you, but you have got an idea of how you can use this program to create some awesome looking inspiration for whatever you have in your game, right? I have also tried uh, searching for, th uh, or, I mean, writing down things like uh, cemetery, graveyard, dungeon environment, dungeon hall, you know, armor pieces, uh, all kinds of stuff that I find relevant for the game I'm creating. So I, I can ask Mid Journey to create a small dungeon image for me and I, maybe I can get some cool ideas just from these uh, uh, dungeon images that Mid Journey is giving me, right? And things are starting to get really cool when I try to create like tentacle monsters in a fantasy dungeon, right? It gave me some insanely awesome uh, images that is just completely mind blowing. And, and I have no idea how this is possible, but it gives me so many ideas I want to make for my own game. I have created dungeons with slime and tentacles and alien eggs, just like environment pieces, right? For inspiration for what I want to put in my game. And of course, I know the mid journey, the, the AI images is a big topic right now as we speak. There's so many people who love this and there's so many people who hate it, right? And I'm not going to judge anything. I, I, just, I just think the technology is, is completely mind blowing. And the way that this can help me uh, 
moving on with my game is absolutely insane. It's it's so valuable that it, it, I can't. I have I'm having a hard time putting words on how helpful and useful this is to me. But yeah, again, guys, I just wanted to show you some of the results I've been getting when searching for spider monsters and tentacle monsters and things like that. So you can kind of see how how insanely useful this tool is i don't know guys this has just been uh, something that has taken up a lot of space in my life the last two weeks and i just wanted to share the ex some of the experience with you so i mean let me know if you like these types of videos too i can i can again i'm trying to expand my youtube channel right and, and talk about more than just all my blueprint problems i have in my game right it, it, it kind of it gets stale after a while right so i kind of try to want to expand the topics i'm talking about here so again let me know in the comments what you think of this video and uh, take good care of yourself and see you next time